This here is from the New York Post. Diddy's A-list pals quietly paying off victims to avoid being publicly named, says lawyer. From October 7th, 2024, let's see what we got today. Some big name celebs are quietly paying off victims to avoid being publicly named in lawsuits related to Diddy's not safe for work case, according to lawyer. Attorney Tony Busby, who's representing more than 120 of Sean Diddy Combs' alleged victims, told TMZ that huge stars are about to be sued by his firm and he's given them a chance to settle up before the claims hit public court. Some celebs have opted to settle, he said. Why wouldn't they? I mean, I'm going to assume these big celebrities have multi, multi millions. And in the end, I'm sure victims want vindication. They want closure. They want to see punishment. But let's be honest, a lot of them want the money just as much, if not a little bit more than all that stuff. So just giving them the money without the court, I think would satisfy most of them. If it happened to me, honestly, I'd probably mostly want the money. I mean, I've got kids. Look at it this way. If something happened to me, assaulted, abused, whatever, 20 years ago, and someone came to me and said, you could see them put in jail and justice be served, or you could have $5 million. I'd be like, you know what? I got to take the $5 million. My kid's college, my future, fix up the house. I mean, it would be great to see them get punished, to get revenge or something in some way. But in the end, I think that's secondary, for me at least. Maybe some of you guys out there are different. In every single case, especially cases like this, because it's in the best interest of the victim. We attempt to resolve these matters without the filing of a public lawsuit, and we've done that already with a handful of individuals, many of which you've heard before, Busby said, according to a report by the Daily Mail. Now, I got to bet I don't know legalities, but probably when they settle, the lawyers take a piece of that. So even for the lawyers, the settlement is better than going to court. It's less work. They probably get a lot of money anyway. Everyone wins. But the public who doesn't know who the bad people are. Busby will separately be lodging a slew of lawsuits, including on the behalf of 25 minors, beginning this month. He has first sent out demand letters notifying others who will be sued in addition to Combs. In fact, Busby said he'll be aggressively going after anyone who saw the alleged abuse occurring and failed to act to protect victims. Okay, that needs context, that needs details. If you see someone being victimized, I'm not sure you've got to legally put yourself in danger to help them. You should morally, but I'm not sure you have to, if that's what he's getting at. If you were there in the room, participated, watched it happen, and didn't say anything or help cover it up, in my view, you have a problem, the plaintiff lawyer said. I think that's complicated. I mean, man, obviously, you should help people. It would be best to say something, but if you're covering your own ass and you're going to get abused or you're going to get blacklisted or blackmailed or lose a job or something, ah, I mean, I could understand people staying quiet. If that next check you need to pay rent and pay your student loan or whatever the hell it is, is coming from the guy who's telling you to be quiet, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's level of guilt. Participating, right, that's one thing. If you participated, yeah, sure. But just watching, I don't know. I think that's kind of a conversation you could have on both ends. The noble thing to do, don't get confused. And the right thing to do would be to say something, of course. Everyone's focused on what other celebs are involved, who's going to be named, who's going to be outed. I don't expect that to happen this week, the lawyer said. We want to make sure if we name individuals beyond Mr. Combs that we have done our homework because. It's going to create a firestorm, and we know that that's true. And I want to know so I could stop supporting them or talking good about them or at least putting the talk on hold and waiting for the verdict or a court case. For example, if they named Celebrity X, I might not want to say good things about them. I might not want to buy their product, make a video, watch their video, give their social media engagement. I might put that on hold until facts come out. So, yeah, I'd like to know, and everyone should know. And they pretty much end it by saying that victims have been coming forward more and more all the time. Anyway, that's the news. You let me know what you think in the comments. If you're not subscribed here, consider it. Following Diddy, 
all things Johnny, pop culture. If you don't subscribe, I'll be sad, but I'll get over it. See you next time.